Okay. Now this next set of problems is going to be related to the Corn series, okay? All right, now if you are gonna rewrite this problem, <clears throat> another way to rewrite this one is the sum, n which equals one to infinity of negative one to the n plus one, and that would be five divided by seven, raised to the n power, and then divided by n. And one thing to notice is that the natural log of one plus x equals the sum n which equals one to infinity of negative one to the n, now x to the n divided by n, okay? So let's isolate this right here. Okay. So, this is the identity that we are going to use, and this is true if we are between negative one and one, not including negative one, just including positive one, okay? So, <clears throat> this thing right here would be the natural log of one plus, now, five divided by seven. That's it, that's the answer to it. Okay. Now, if I was going to rewrite this one, that would be the sum n which equals zero to infinity of negative one to the n. Now, negative pi divided by three to the two n and divided by two n factorial. And on this one, we are going to use the fact that cosine of x equals the sum n which equals zero to infinity of negative one to the n, x to the two n divided by two n factorial. Okay, so let's isolate it this way. It's just an identity that we're using right there. And so this thing right here would come out to cosine of negative pi So that's just using the known information about the Corrin series to uh, calculate those two spots, I mean, those two series. Okay, so that's all you have to do on that. It's just identify uh, the correct McLaurin series.